Hello there. I'm just reading a letter here that I got from Uncle Angus McCorbett. <laughs> he comes from Rotherham. I'll read it to you. Many people say how similar you look to me, and I agree. The look runs in the Corbett family. He sent me a photograph as well. Actually, I must say I can see the resemblance, apart from one glaring fact. I've still got the full head of hair. <laughs> Luxurious, thick and healthy. <laughs> Who's luxurious, thick and healthy, Matthew? You talking about sleep again? No, 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 it doesn't matter. It's not important, Sue, really it isn't. Oh, well, that may not be important, but what I have to say is, um, you know you're always telling us to wash the bath out when we finish? Yes, yes. Well, you should practice what you preach. I've just found your bath in a terrible state. Oh, have you? A dirty ring round it and the plug blocked up with... With what? This. Oh, what's that? Is that a dead mouse, is it? No, Matthew, it's hair. Hair? Well, whose uh, who's is it? Well, I'll leave you to work that out. Well, look at that. Well, it couldn't possibly be mine, could it? I mean, I would notice if this had dropped off, wouldn't I? I would, oh, Sooty's here. Hello. Sweep's found a baby hedgehog. You're kidding. We're, oh, hey, look, he's bringing it up. Look at this. He's found a... Just, just, just a minute, just a minute. This isn't a baby hedgehog. This is my hairbrush. I've been looking for that for absolutely ages. <laughs> Isn't it a hedgehog? No, it is not a hedgehog. It's a hairbrush. Look at it. Look at it. It's a hairbrush. What? It's covered in little hairs. Amongst the bristles. Yeah, all right. Well, look, that, just go and use the bathroom. Go on. Both of you, go and use the bathroom. Go on. Actually, there are one or two hairs amongst the bristles. Still, these can't hold me mine, can they? I mean, if I'd lost all of this lot, and all of this had dropped out as well, that would only mean one thing. It would mean that I was going completely... The look runs in the Corbett family. I'm sure Matthew doesn't mean to be so grumpy. It's just that he's got a few worries right now. Like what? Well, he's worried about his... his hair. Why? Well, when Matthew was born, sweet, he looked rather like this. With a nice pink shiny head with no hair at all. Then, as he grew, so did his hair. <laughs> it got longer and longer, until when it was at his longest, it was right down to his shoulders. <laughs> What's it? Is? Was Matthew's hair bright red? No, silly Billy. What's sweet? What's Matthew's problem? Well, sometimes with men, their hair just sort of, um, well, it just sort of goes. And what's worrying Matthew is, he doesn't want to end up looking like this. <laughs> well, Sue and the boys had a long talk. She told them that she was nipping down to the shops to get something that would help Matthew with his little problem, which left Sooty Free to try and help Matthew in his own special way by making a magic potion to put on his hair to make it grow. Sooty sends Sweep off for one of the ingredients the spell requires. Seven centipedes toenails. You've got it, said Sooty. Now, Vamoosh. <laughs> Luckily, Sooty had another helper other than Sweep. Little cousin Scampy, who just for once wasn't being naughty. He was returning with the most important ingredient, one pint of cloud. Hmm, it doesn't look much like a cloud to me, but wait. <laughs> well done, Scampy. 
said Sooty. Now fetch me three blue gooseberries. Whilst I sprinkle in a generous helping of oofle dust. Aha! Sweep's got the centipede's toenails. Unfortunately, they're still attached to the centipede. Ah, here comes Scampy, and he's managed to find some blue gooseberries. That's amazing, said Sooty, as he threw them in. Not so amazing, said Cousin Scampy. It's straight from a tin. <laughs> he's painted them blue. Ah, here's Sweet with the toenails. No, no, I, I think he may have bitten off more than he can chew. Poor old Sweep. Oh, but look, all is not lost. It's little cousin Scampy to the rescue with a pair of toenail clippers. Uh, I've got one, said Scampy. I've got a clipping. And he had. So Sooty took the clipping and threw it into the jar. Now we can say the spell, said Sooty. So they did. Izzy Wizzy plus nails from creepy crawlies. Let's get busy. Make a mixture, especially for baldies. Hey, wow, that seemed like pretty powerful magic. And look what it's done to the potion, said Sooty. It looks as if the magic worked. They just needed someone to try it on before telling Matthew the good news. Hmm. Five minutes later, and still no results. Sooty had hoped that Sweep's hair would suddenly start shooting up. Still, the potion had only been on for a couple of minutes. Better leave it on a bit longer, said Sooty. Absolutely undetectable, they'll never see the join. Oh, hello, just reading a silly magazine. Uh, hi, hi, Sue, uh, what have you been up to? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I've been down the shops. Now, look, Matthew. Yes. Can I be frank? Well, you can be frank if you like, but I think the name Sue suits you a lot better. Oh, don't be <laughs> silly. Now, I want to talk to you about uh, your little problem. Sue, I haven't got a little problem. Well, I think you have. You're starting to go thin on top. Now, what? now, it doesn't bother me at all, but it obviously worries you. So I've bought you something which I think will help you to stop worrying. You bought, you bought something for me? Yes, Matthew. Well, that's very kind of you, Sue. Uh, what is it and where is it? Hmm? Well, it's hmm? in the bag down there. Down where? Oh, this bag. Mm -hmm. It's this bag down here. Oh, Sue, this is wonderful. This is absolutely marvellous. I mean, this is ideal. I mean, nobody will even notice my problem now, will they? I mean, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. There's no need for sarcasm, Matthew. I'm what? only doing my best. What? Oh, that's just... gratitude for you. Well, I hope the rest of his hair blooming well falls out and his beard. Oh, dear. I think I must have upset Sue. I should wonder what it, this looks like. There's a mirror down here. Huh. That's, uh, that's quite attractive, really. Oh, hi, Sooty. Why am I wearing the silly wig? Never mind, never mind the silly wig. Can you talk to me about my hair? Well, everybody else seems to be talking about my hair. What do you want to say? You think you've got the answer? He says he thinks he's a spell book. What's that? You made a magic potion? A magic... Oh, is that the magic potion? Well, what am I supposed to do with that, then? Put it on my head? Well, this stuff, put it on my... Just a minute. How do I know something dreadful isn't going to happen? Oh, you put it on sweet five minutes ago, and he's still all right, is he? Well, I suppose uh, anything's worth a try, isn't it? All right, here he goes. I'll put this on my head. I mean, not that I am actually, you know, very thin or anything, but uh, I'm just doing it for humour, sort of, really. I'll put this on my hair, see whether it works. Because I'm good-hearted, really. I'm only doing it for him. Oh, I'd better put a towel over my head, stop it going on my shirt. Hang on a minute, let me put this towel over here, like that. Right. Okay? Just gotta wait now. Oh, hi, sweet. Hi. 
What are we doing? Well, Sutton's just developed a new magic potion, so I just smeared it all over my head. Sweet! Sweet! You're totally bald! Which, which means that I'm probably totally bald! I am! I'm totally bald! Sutton, what? Something's gone wrong with the spell? You're not kidding! Something's gone wrong with the spell! Which spell did you use? Which? Let me have a look at it. I feel like a boiled egg. That one, that one, that was the one. Hey, just in here, that's the wrong spell. That's a spell for making somebody bald, not curing it. What should we do? Well, I don't know. What are we going to do, Sooty? Really? Apparently, it tells you how to reverse the spell at the back of the book. Why didn't you tell us that straight away? Can we have a look at this, sweet? It's there. Look, there it is. There it is. To reverse the spell, yeah? Now, to reverse the spell, get a hair from a totally bald man. Is that it? Yes, it says it's for there. To reverse the spell, get a hair from a totally bald man. Oh, goodness me. What are we going to do? Let's tell him, sweet. Find a totally bald man. <laughs> Come on, quick. There's no time to be lost. Morning. Sweet, but let's have a look. Sweet. This is ridiculous. We've been here for two hours and we haven't seen one totally bald man. <laughs> Apart from me. Well, you've got no cause to speak, have you? Anyway, the spell must have meant somebody other than us two. Otherwise, it would have actually... What? Look. What that? A totally bald man? Sweet, you're right. Hey, you know who that is. That is Duncan Goodhue, the famous gold medalist swimmer. He's also famous for being totally bald. He's our man. Come on, sweet. Let's go and get a hair. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stop. 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 Uh, you're Duncan Goodhue, aren't you? Oh, that's right. Yes. I'm Matthew. Hi. What can I do for you? Well, uh, I've seen you on the television, and I've uh, seen you swimming, and I think that you are totally bald. Pardon? Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Not bald. Not bald at all. You are brilliant. Not bald. You are brilliant. Totally brilliant. Well, thank you. And I was wondering if you... if you would, uh... I was wondering if you would, uh... if you'd like a sweet. That's it. If you would like a sweet. This is my friend Sweet. And he's got the sweets. Oh, thank you. Excuse me? Do you like the red one? Yes. Well, there is one red sweet, but it's right at the bottom of the bag. You'll have to bend down and look for it. Oh, well, thank you. Ah, oh, they're always at the back. Oh, he's got it. There's the little rascal. <laughs> right. Okay. But look, look. Sweet. I need more time. I can't. I can't find a single hair. <coughs> what am I meant to be looking at? Um, I thought I saw a bald head. What? No, not a bald head. A bald-headed eagle. A bald-headed eagle must have escaped from the zoo. He's talking to you. Oh, hello, sweet. Do you want my autograph? Oh, yeah, here, I've got a photograph. I need somewhere to rest it, though. Down there. Down, Down there. there? Okay. All right. Two sweeps. Yeah, good luck. Love, Duncan, good hue. <laughs> there we are. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look! Sweet. I need more time. I can't find a single hair. The laces. Go through the laces. The laces. <clears throat> what am I meant to be looking at? Uh, nothing really. It's just uh, those two cars. Goodness me, that was a closely shaved head. No, it wasn't. No, 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 no. That was a close shave. Not a closely shaved head. Oh. <laughs> Another sweep? Look, I've had enough sweeps. i really got to go on my way. Can't. What? Why? Laces. Laces? Laces. Ah, oh, look at that. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, crap on that second. I thought there was something funny going on. What are you two up to? All right, all right, all right. It's a fair cop, Dunk. L let me try and explain. You see, us three, we are all in the same boat. Except that him and I, we've got to try and find a hair from a totally bald man. Ah, the spell. Oh, you know about the spell? Oh, of course I do. 
I've been waiting for years for somebody to come and look for a hair to reverse that spell. Well, they're going to have a hard job with you. I mean, you haven't even got any hairs on your eyebrows, have mm. you? No, not one anywhere. <laughs> uh, he says, so you can't give us a hair. That's where you're wrong. One hair. <laughs> yeah, all right, Sue. As it happens, I don't think it's very funny. As a matter of fact, as comedians go, I think Duncan Goodyear makes a very good hairdresser. <laughs> what? You don't know what's gone wrong? What do you mean you don't know what's... Well, we've done everything that the spell asked. Yes, I realise that. We've even got a hair from a totally bald man. Mm. He hasn't done us any good, though, has it? No, mm. but he's a lovely creature, Matthew. Well, who is Duncan Goodhue? No, the hair. Hmm. <laughs> he's got something round his neck. Mm. Yeah, well, it's a little message barrel. That... Mm. Just a minute, just a minute. There's a, there's a message in it. Mm. A little... Oh, it's a magic message. Mm. Hang on, I'll read it to you. But... If you wish things were the way they were, then travel through the looking glass mm. to a time when there was hair and plenty of fur in the not-so-distant past. Mm. Well, looking glass means mirror. So let's have a look, shall we? Mm. Hey, yeah, look at that, look at that. That's earlier on today. That's me there. Oh, and you're there as well, sweet, and you as well, Sooty. So uh, what else did the message say? It said, travel through the looking glass. Come on, boys. This is our chance to go back in time and alter the way things turned out. Ready? One, two, three, through we go! Michael, I mean, if I'd lost all of this lot and all of this had dropped out as well, that would only mean one thing. It would mean that I was going completely... to look runs in the Corbett family. <coughs> Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, most peculiar feeling. Sooty, sweet, come back up here. Come up here. Don't, don't, don't go away. Sue, can you come and join us wherever you are? I've had the most peculiar thing just happen. I don't want you to go to the bathroom. I want you to stay here because I want to talk to you two. Listen, it really doesn't matter, you know, whether you have a full head of hair or whether you've got no hair at all because the most important thing is to be happy the way you are. And if that means being a little bit uh, thin on top, then so be it. You know, bald can be beautiful. We agree, Matthew. We like you just the way you are. Oh, thank you very much, Sue. We don't care about the state your hair is in. Really? We don't mind if it's brown or if it's black. That's very kind, Sue. We don't care if your hair is going thin on top. Is a little. We don't care if it's growing down your back. That's nice to hear, Sue. So don't get pissed. Yeah. Even if your hair is getting thin. I certainly won't, Sue. No need to shout. No. Nope. Or jump about if your hair is falling out. I promise I won't. Tell him, Sue. Because bald can be beautiful. It's true. That's what we always say. <laughs> Sue, tell them again. Bald can be beautiful, of that there is no doubt. <laughs> we don't care if your hair is falling. Thanks, Sue. We don't care if your hair is falling. Thanks a lot. We don't care if your hair is falling out. That's what, what's the thing? It's time to say goodbye. So it is. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We don't care if your hair ain't what it used to be. Well, it isn't really what you do. You mustn't get depressed at being dark. All right, I won't get depressed. If you get around a bit, then you'll see. What can we see, Sue? Sometimes bald is kind the final love. <laughs> That's true. It's a hairbrush. So don't get missed. What? Even if yeah. your hair is getting thin. I'll try to control myself, Sue. No need. To shout or jump about if your hair is falling out. You're right, Sue. Tell him, go on. Because